Hola guys, happy Sunday. I am heading out of my sissy poo's house and my heart is full. I got to spend time with my sissy poo, like like not busy time, but like some downtime because usually when we're together, we're, we're being busy. My sister is a friggin' hero. My sister takes the uh, brunt of the responsibility for my mom and making sure that she's taking her medications and going to see her doctors and that type of thing. So when I come over, a lot of times it's just busy. Oh, that's a squish squirrel. A lot of times it's just uh, busy, you know, busy things around the house, um, um, you know, helping her out in regards to my mom and just, you know, it's busy things. My, my sister is an amazing daughter and caretaker to my mom. So it's usually when I come over here, it's busy, busy, busy. But this weekend was just straight up, um, was just straight up downtime. Ugh, you guys, I'm in I'm in my mom's neighborhood, uh, my sister's neighborhood, and when I come here, there are a couple things I do. I go to Goodwill and I go to the bins, but I also sometimes will cruise through the old neighborhood just to see what's going on with the gentrification of the joint. And if you've been with me a while, you know how upset I was last year when I rolled by my old street and saw that my old childhood home had been demolished and one of these monstrosity uh ridiculous houses popped up but it's this big mega thing they don't even have any yard like why would you put this huge home on a property that allows you no yard that was the best thing about this house was we had a big backyard a huge backyard with lots of trees and they have one dead tree and no backyard really look at this gargantuan house it is friggin huge you have this big old sprawling home next to little hood houses and I'm not saying that in a derogatory manner at all I grew up here this is my street I'm from the hood and I don't mean that in a derogatory way from the barrio this is where I'm from oh goodness gracious they're building another one over here Here's another one they're building right next door to the little houses and they've demolished a whole bunch of them. Here's another one right next to these little homes here. And there's a big one over there in the background behind that tree. Did y'all hear that friggin' rooster? Cause it's the hood people it's the hood and then this right here was a house that we lived in that's no longer there <sighs> I mean I'm happy for whoever's gonna be buying these homes and whoever's gonna be living here because it is so close to the downtown district blah 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 but it just makes me sad and the reason people are buying here is because look at the proximity to friggin downtown Dallas look at your skyline this is the skyline I grew up looking at as a child and it's a beautiful skyline it's a beautiful city and people want to live here that's why all the hood houses are being knocked down and all the fancy houses are being put up but let me get out of here before I get sadder and let's go to a happy place let's go to Goodwill and the bins I used to have nightmares of this place. You see this water? It's a water treatment or something or other type of plant. And um, I used to have nightmares of it. I used to have literal nightmares of this thing being stuck in it and it flooding.
up in here and see what is good. There's a lot of cars in the parking lot, so hopefully it's not too packed. Ooh, there's actually carts. That's good, because sometimes there isn't. This must be for people who need parts for appliances, because look at this stuff. What is this? It's a mishmash. Wires and cables. Ooh, shiny goodness. This is so pretty, uh, but the cord is cut. But you know what? I wonder if I can kind of stick it together, put in like a fake little um, tea light or something. Okay. I'm not tempted. Okay, what is going on here? There are hardly any hard goods. Is this leftover stuff? I'm confused. Sunglasses. Hmm. Oh, is this a Vera Bradley? It's not bright enough. I don't know. Hmm. Where's the tag? I don't think it's a Vera. Tula. I think there was somewhere over here. Yeah. A few little Halloween -y decorations. So the reason nobody was over there was because they're starting to bring out the bins. I had no idea they shushed me and another lady out of the area. <laughs> I guess I'll wait with these ones. <laughs> Okay guys, I turned out, came in right as they're doing the swap out the transition where they take all the picked over bins into the back and bring out fresh ones. And I don't know how long that's going to take, but I stood there for like 10 minutes and they're slowly bringing out new bins of clothes and um, hard goods, but I don't want to... I don't want to dig through the bins that bad. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people already waiting for the new bins to come out. Those are probably your resellers. But I don't want to dig through stuff that much that I'll wait around and kill my thrifting time. So I'm walking over to the actual store, which is going to be more fun for me. I'm going to look around and shop there. I might go back to the bins when I leave the store just to look around. But like I said, to wait there... For them to bring out new bins is just not my not my jive so let's go into the actual store It's so low, my knees would crack trying to get in it. That is beautiful though. Look how low it is. Mm. 
keep being drawn back to this chair you guys if I had a pickup truck I swear it'd come home with me oh it's broken that'd be a cute little object de art for the yard but it's broken and I think it's Christmas themed with the holly That's kind of different. I don't have anything yellow. I might be able to judge it up. I don't know. This is pretty. Is that a coconut? I think so. Ooh. No, no drain holes. We had something similar at home growing up. Those have seen better days. Look at that. They must have been sitting by the sink on the counter. Y'all know I still like this stuff. Not that much. I bet that's pretty lit up. That's cute. Little candle holder. Is this a trivet? It's freaking heavy. I, yep, it's a trivet. 
amazing. I wonder how much it is. I don't see a price. Oh, it's broken. How cute is that? So stinking cute. I found myself in the holiday things. Ooh, look at these. These are pretty. These could work on two of my trees. I see something purple. Tiny tentacles. Shut up. You make a baby octopus. Oh, this is adorable, you guys. Look at this. Do I know anybody with a baby? Oh my gosh, I love octopus. It's my favorite color. That is adorable. So cute. That is really cute, but I got super jazzed because here is a metal something or other. Oh, look at him. He's a little rusty, but you know I repaint these. How much is this guy? He is adorable. He's a little bent, but I can fix that. His little mustache sticks out. These are super bent, but this can all be fixed. I think he is very worth $4.94. So cute. I'm going to go ahead and put this back because somebody with a little baby child will be very happy to find that. Look at this lovely. It's made out of clay though and I don't trust that because I don't know if it's food safe or not. Depending on where it comes from. Oh, for your makeup brushes. I don't keep mine out like that because I don't use them enough and they get dusty, so I just keep them in a jar, a big old jar. I like this. Cute. Very oish. Oish. How much? Oh my gosh, guys. It tings. I need this in my life. I do. And considering I only have one thing in here. Fifty, the ultimate effort. Hey, I'm gonna be fifty this year. That's cute. It's cracked. Very cracked. Oh, I've already been here. I wish I knew how much this was. Because I kind of like it. But then it's very specific to a certain kind of dish. And if I don't use this particular dish, it's just going to be sitting there waiting. Look! For your tea bag. It has notches for a little tea bag string. That's cool. I miss that. Okay, I decided I'm gonna leave Santa Claus because I noticed he doesn't have any little feet on the back so that I can prop him up in the yard, which is what I wanted to do with him. So I'm gonna leave him behind, but I don't feel too bad because I found something that I am super excited about. Something balls that I can absolutely, definitely use. And I've actually been wanting one. So yay, I'll show you guys when I get home. I hate having to take rust off of things, even though vinegar works, but still. This is my size though. I don't have on this size. Oh my god. 
I cannot believe they mistreated this. You know, this is coming home with me. It sure is. Busted up or not, it's coming home with me. And I will tell you the story behind it. I cannot believe that was in here. Oh my gosh, my tummy is all a happy little bubble. You guys, I'm sorry. I can't believe it. It's missing a wall though. That's probably why it's here. Oh, it's missing a few walls. Oh my gosh. It's not the one I had growing up. The one I had had um, a little doorbell. But did any of you guys have one of these? Oh my gosh, just the fact. My nostalgic part. Mine had a bay window and a little doorbell. And our little lantern lit. It's missing walls though. How am I going to even... Oh, this is hurting you guys. I'm going to have to put it back. That's why I was looking for walls. Because the roof I can reattach. But it is... Oops, sorry. It's missing walls. It's missing this outside wall because that's your outside terrace. And it's missing this wall. And I know my OCD and my nostalgic card will break every time I look at it incomplete. I'm going to take one more look real quick and see if I can find the walls. But I doubt it. You guys, the basket I left initially is still here. See, I only had, oh, the umbrella. Oh, no. I'll take the umbrella. I had the umbrella and a few little spiders. You know what? I may as well. Heck, it's still here. A few more little Halloween decorations aren't going to hurt me. And I think I can turn this into a little lamp still. I don't know. Let's just switch parts. Look at that. And I can't reach it. You and me and the dogs. Oh, I love it. I got really excited by this. But it's in pretty rough shape and I really don't want to take the time to juju it up. How would I wash this, guys? I know I can Lysol it, but I can't fit it in the washer. Would I hand wash something like this? I like this for blankies and stuff. Hmm gonna go ahead and get these pot liners a good scrubbing a good cleaning because this is part of the reason I didn't want to bring in my bigger plants uh, because when you water them they drain all over and I didn't have any of these so these are coming home with me for sure because I'm not killing no more plants in Texas in February okay even though there is a whole lot of stuff I'm not finding a lot of stuff that I really really want or um, feel like I should take home. Oh my gosh, I'm getting this. Oh, these remind me of Melinda. I am getting that. If y'all uh, are buddies with me on Facebook, y'all know why um, acorns remind me of Melinda, but I'll share with you guys. That silly girl had no grace. She would fall and trip on air. And acorns were her grand nemesis. Every time there was an acorn on the ground, I kid you not, that girl ended up with a twisted ankle, a busted knee. It was a joke among us that oak trees were out to get her. So I'm going to get that acorn and put it near her photo. You guys, if I found two more of these, I swear I'd have another collection. they're ribbed 
That's really pretty. As the mother of a soldier, this makes me so sad. This is so wrong. Ugh. Be careful when you guys are digging in the bins because even gloves won't protect you from this. Chef something or other over there, and y'all know I love me some pampered chef. But it's kind of far. Wow, that is well seasoned. is lovely y'all probably be like that's burnt on the heck nope that's well seasoned used well and we'll do a heck of a job on some biscuits but it's kind of heavy and i don't know if i want to pay for the heavy okay guys so this is all stuff i'm putting back i was going to turn this into um a little battery operated tea light lamp but it'll just be another project that I really I know me I'm not going to get to so that's going back this bag of cookie cutters is going to go back let some baker have some happy happy joy joy finding those yes guys I'm actually putting back a cut glass frame only because I don't have any more room for anything like this so that's going back the umbrella opened but wouldn't stay open so that's going back these whimsical little measuring spoons also going to go back. Hi! And this little tray. Y'all know I love these, but I don't have any more room for them. I don't have any home for it, any space for it, so it's going back. Let somebody else who wants one or needs one get it. Ooh, you guys, it is 2.30. My right knee is screaming. My belly is yelling. And I am heading home. I'm going to pick up something to eat because at this point, my stomach is fighting with me. At this point, I've waited too long to cook anything. And I don't want to get the shakes and get weird. I already got the stomach nausea happening. But anyhow, you guys, we've been out here a minute every time I tried to walk out of the bins. Man, they just kept putting stuff out. And then there's no organization. It used to be clothing in the front and hard goods in the back. And now it's all mixed and mishmash together. Like, I didn't know that the back end had all those hard goods and big hard goods. Like furniture, tables, chairs, that kind of thing. Bigger stuff than the the more little decor kind of stuff. So I was back there a while. Honestly, though, I mean, y'all hear me kind of... Y'all hear... Dang, can y'all see what's in the back? <laughs> you guys, that was my awesome uh, Goodwill find. And I'll go ahead and tell you what it is. Should I say what it is? Nah, we'll wait till we get home. Uh, but y'all can see it's metal. Um, what was I saying? I wasn't really feeling the thrift of it all. Um, people were just being kind of rude. Uh, a lot of people were looking at me like I had a horn growing out the top of my head. You're going to tell me in 2023, especially thrifters, you're not used to people vlogging. You're not used to people recording taking pictures give me a break they're just working my nerves maybe it's because i'm hungry maybe it's because i don't know i just i, I was in a mood i've been in a mood the last couple days honestly just kind of when i've been around people maybe i've been in the house too long and now that i've come out around people they irk my soul even more than they usually do that might be it um but I don't know, they were just kind of staring and looking and then some people were having really, really loud inappropriate conversations all around me. But anywho, um, yeah, I was just, I wasn't feeling it. And y'all know that ain't like me. And then, then the bin situation initially where I got all confused uh, and I was in at the wrong time. Um, I don't know. 
I'm, I'm probably just tired. I'm probably just tired. I'm hot and sweaty and dirty. I need to sanitize uh, the steering wheel and everything today because my hands are particularly dirty after this go around of thrifting. Um, I went to Thrift Town yesterday. I did on my way to my sissy's house. I went to Thrift Town yesterday. So, uh, and I stuck to just one thing there. Uh, and I got some, I, I hit pay dirt on the one thing that um, I really uh, get happy about finding there. So I'll show you guys that. But it seems for the amount of things that I purchased that I've been out a long time and I have been. I've been out a really long time. I think I left my sister's house at 11.30. It's 2.44. So, yeah. And I've been up since a little after 8. No, it was almost 9. It was creeping into 9 o'clock. It was like 8.40 something when I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. So, yeah, I'm really pushing it with the not eating. So, I'm going to stop and find something to eat um, and head home. And then we'll do a haul. Yes. Okie dokie. Okay, guys. Let me apologize for the floor condition. Uh, it's still really muddy and gross outside. And I have been in and out working in the yard uh, since I got home. So, it's a mess. But... It's sitting on the tile because the actual rack was outside. I put took the water hose to it to get little cobwebs and stuff off. I did remove the top and clean the top off. It was $23.32 for this adorable little uh, shelf. What? Island? Utility cart? I don't know, you guys. I have been wanting one of these. My kitchen is way too small for it. But what I want to use it for actually is barbecue prep. Every time I'm outside, I don't have enough room uh to get this you know to get the food situated i'm having to move between the side of the grill the top of the grill any makeshift little table i have out there or the actual table we eat at and i don't like to do that because raw meat i have to clean the table a zillion kajillion times between getting the raw meat onto the grill i thought this would be perfect it has little wheels so i can bring it back in roll it into the garage until i need it <sighs> i am super happy about it i thought about making it into like a little coffee uh, a tray but I really don't have room in this little house for that either but the first thing I thought of when I saw it was barbecue prep and I thought $23.92 was a pretty darn good price for it okay so now let's get into the stuff that I picked up at the bins no hold on I have one more thing to show you guys from the Goodwill store I forgot about it um I did go ahead and buy the beautiful little crystal uh glass etched vase it's a little dome so stinking pretty i know i want white flowers in it for my bedroom i know what i'm removing off of one end table to replace this with but i just thought it was so stinking pretty and it was 393 so that's the only thing that i picked up at the store store now the stuff that i got at the bins eh. I did grab the plaque. Y'all know me in scripture. I think it's awesome. Not quite sure where I'm going to put it. Uh, but I do know it will find a place up in this Cantone. Home Accents was selling it for $29.99. And I guess it didn't sell in the store. So it ended up in the bins. And I got it. Uh, I should have washed these. I had... Now, I should have washed these when I was out there washing... A little rack but I honestly forgot about it and then I threw everything in here. Um, I did grab the drainer pots. These are actually going to go right back outside but it's two of them. One, two. Did get those. I need to roll those back outside. I made such a mess out there guys with the water hose and this little rack but I needed it clean. He's going in the washer. Absolutely stinking adorable little Snoopy. With his hat. Y'all know I love me some Snoopy. He was an afterthought. As I was making like my fifth round around there. I grabbed him. I thought this was too cute. It's Pac-Man. I'm old school. He was just thinking adorable. I wish I had found some little ghosts. But I didn't. I did go ahead and pick up the little plethora of random um, Halloween decor. I was going to leave them, but these are really nice sized rubber spiders and they have a little string. So 
you can hang them and dangle them and scare the snot out of somebody. So I grabbed those, some little plastic rats, and then a couple of little plastic spiders. I found this metal planter, very similar to something I currently have outside, which has seen better days. I need to see if I can fix it up some because it's kind of a mess, but I like the metal. I may have to drill some drain holes in it, um, but y'all know me in my yard, y'all know me in my plants. I did get the loaf pan. Uh, it has just the tiniest bit of rust in here on the inside, which I'm not comfortable with, so hopefully some Brillo pad. Uh, can get that off but I just like the size I don't have anything the size this is perfect for meatloaf because the ones that I have that I've tried to make meatloaf in they're a little squat they're a little shorter and I end up with this big giant fat loaf um I found a little dude uh build board a little uh lego build board can never have too many of those so I grabbed that I thought this was really pretty her greatest power is believing in herself it's just a little notebook Y'all know how I feel about those. Okay, okay. Baby pink, bubblegum pink, whatever. I liked the color of this um, little clipboard. It's this pretty seafoam. It looks kind of light blue depending on how I hold it. But it's this pretty seafoam green. I found another piece to that long uh, extension pole that I used to do my uh, light bulbs up on the vaulted wall. Can never have too many of these because I'm absent-minded and lose them. And I found that brand new set at the flea market. And then I already had the pole and just thought I'd grab one in case I lose more of the attachments. I did. <laughs> I did get this. Now this is silverish and I was thinking of painting the acorn part white. But no, I like the wood. It gives it a more natural um, look. So I'm just going to clean it up and definitely going to go next to one of my favorite pictures of Melinda. And this I put back a couple of times. It has a few chips right here and a few little dings. Y'all see that? But there was something so stinking pretty about this little rooster dish. It's um martindale and i tried to google just because i was curious how old it was and a few little things came up uh covered dishes and that type of thing but i just thought he was really neat i don't know if it's glass or like resin i'm not sure but i really don't know what i'm gonna do with this i just think it's really cute but because it is a rooster maybe my sister will like it and then i did go ahead and bring home the basket. I lice all the snot out of it. It was sitting outside, airing out. And then I just put everything else in it to bring it in. But I like it. I wish I could. I almost stuck the water hose to it, guys. I almost washed it with the water hose. But I didn't know if it was going to ruin it. And I don't know how long it would take to dry. Uh, but it smells good. And I don't see any creepy crawlies in it. Um, so this is going to go in my big dude's bedroom. And I'm going to roll some of the blankets that he doesn't use that I had all over that bed um, before he came home. I'm going to roll them up pretty and put those in there. And then the only other stuff I have to... Oh, no, hold on a second. I found this bad boy. I did get it. Ugh. I did get it. It needs a little oiling and it's a little greasing, but I like the old school of it. I know you can get the electric ones and I trim an edge with my weed eater anyway, but I loved, I loved how old school it was. And it does spin, like I said, a little bit of oiling, a little bit of cleaning, and I'm going to be out there edging up along the sidewalk. I thought that was really, really a really cool find. And then the only other stuff that I have to show you guys is what I picked up at Thrift Town yesterday. I found this gorgeous heart. It was in the Valentine stuff. It's this dark blue on this side and this light blue on this side. I don't know if it's plastic or glass. I'm not sure. It's dusty and crusty and funky right now, but I'm about to wash it in some hot water and shine it up. I just thought it was really pretty, and I'm actually going to uh, set it sideways like this up in my gallery on my little shelf up there next to uh, some of the pictures of my boys. Blue for boys, heart, because I love them. I just thought that was really pretty, and it was $3.99. I'd actually put this back a couple times, but something about it, when I kept looking at it thinking, man, you get a toothbrush all up in there and get it all shiny and pretty, it's going to look really nice. So, got that. And then I found picture frames galore. Y'all know about my gallery. Y'all see my gallery? 
it's all black frames going up the stairs up the stairs up the stairs in the hallway upstairs i can never have too many of these and goodness knows i have plenty of pictures that i need frames for now these are a little expensive but when i find a nice frame i go ahead and get it this one was 5.99 so it was this one so i got a two for i got two for five well not for two at 5.99 This one was $2.99, and I have a black and white picture of the movie theater that my mom used to take us to in the neighborhood before they knocked it down. And y'all know how I feel about my old neighborhood. Y'all saw earlier. And I kid you not, how I printed it out, it printed out this size, so I think it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be pretty in here. I actually printed out a black and white picture of the bakery that we used to go to every Sunday morning. Uh, the bakery is still there. It's just gotten a little modernized. We were just there last night, actually, me and my sister getting tacos. Oh, my gosh. You guys, if you all are in the Dallas area, I need you all to Google Estrella Bakery on Singleton Boulevard. If you like street tacos, y'all need to go there, okay? They're open early, open late, but it's kind of first come, first serve with the types of meat. They have cabeza, tripa, um, barbacoa, lengua, uh, costilla, which is rib. They have all kinds of yummy stuff to make street tacos, but... They're really popular. They're really good. So they run out of some kinds of meats. I sound like a freaking commercial. They should sponsor this video or give me free tacos. But anyway, I found a black and white picture online uh, on a website called Old Dallas of that uh, bakery that also printed out in this funny square shape. So I don't know. I don't know. I might. Um, I'm not sure which I want to put in there. But uh, if I uh, put the bakery picture in here, I'm going to put this in the kitchen. If I do the uh, movie theater, I'm going to put it in the gallery. But, golly, I can go on and on about the simplest thing, can't I? But that one was $2.99. And the only other thing I purchased was this black shadow box frame. It has layers in it, so you can do a 3D effect. Each one of these pictures is on a different glass. Uh, and I thought this was amazeballs. I had something like this smaller and in brown wood and black is just perfect for up there up there y'all and it was $5.99 so that's everything um I just got out of the shower I was hot when I got home hot after the yard work and I just got out of the shower duh uh, I'm about to put the stuff outside that needs to go outside put the stuff that needs to go in the washer in the washer and uh settle down for a little bit it's already 7 10 um uh, I'm tracking little dude and I know he's at his grandpa's house. So that's about 20 minutes away. So uh, I'm going to finish up here. That way when he comes in, I can visit with him some before putting him to bed because everybody goes back to work and school tomorrow. Knock on wood. We're back on schedule. The ice is melted. The sun is out. Um, but I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. I hope you guys rested if you needed to rest, had fun if you wanted to have fun, healed if you were sick. I hope you guys just had an awesome time these last two days. So thanks for hanging out with me and running around with me and visiting with me. And it's so much fun. I know it's just like it's just a video. But if y'all feel about me the way I feel about y'all, and some of y'all are so clear as to how y'all feel about me, I know that this is like actual visiting with each other, like actually hanging out together. And it's I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's so weird how you can feel connected with people you've never met. You've just seen on the screen, but ah, I think y'all are awesome. And for all the new people that I'm seeing up here, hi, welcome aboard. Welcome to my little Swimer family. Um, it's just fun. I'm having a lot more fun now with it because y'all can share it with me, the experience. But anywho, I'm going to go finish my water, take this towel out of my head. I may have to change this because it's 78 degrees outside and I'm hot. I thought my old bones were going to be cold and I'm a little hot right now. I hope you guys have a great week. If I don't see you guys this week, or y'all know y'all probably see my face. Uh, but if, just in case I don't, I hope you guys have a great week. And until my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Bye.